hello viewers welcome to the channel in this video you'll see how to design this model this simple model in FreeCAD using the part design of bench and also you will see how to use the draft tool of part design or bench so first now let's go to FreeCAD and now create a new document and switch to the part design or bench and first here what we'll do is to create a cylinder so click in this icon and select additive cylinder press home and now we'll set the attachment of this cylinder so select xy plane and now let's set the size of this cylinder so first here we'll set a range of 10 for this cylinder here we have a diameter of 20 and you will set 8 of 40 so first here we'll set 10 for the ridge and here we'll change to 40 and now just click ok and now as you can see we have the cylinder here and the next thing to do is to click on this icon again and select the stop face here and now scroll down here and set flip sides here and now let's set the size of the cylinder so we'll set a radius of for this cylinder we'll set a radius of 15 and a height of 18 so change here to 15 and here to 18 and then click ok and now we have this and the next thing to do here is to create this this radius here this fillet so what you do here select this edge and go to the fillet tool click in this icon and as you can see here we have a radius of one so what you need to do here is to click ok and next here what we'll do is to create these parts here around the cylinder these parts so what we do here click in this icon active cylinder and select the stop face here and scroll down here and check this option flip sides and next here is we'll set the region and the height of this cylinder so as you can see here we have a range of one and the height of the cylinder will be 17 so change here to one and here to 17 and the next thing to do here is to change change the attachment of this cylinder so we'll place the cylinder here so what we do as you can see here we have a radius of 15 for this arc here so what we'll do here is to is to change the value of the y duration so let's go to y duration and here change to 15 okay and now as you can see we have cylinder here so scroll up and click ok and now we have this part here and next here what we'll do is to create a polar pattern of this part here so how we can do that first go to the model tab and select this cylinder this less operation and now just click in polar pattern tool okay and what you need to do here in these parameters is to change the number of occurrence to here will set 20 set 20 here and then click ok and as you can see now we have these all parts here okay and next here what you'll do is to create these create these parts here so what you do now select additive cylinder again and now what we do here he will select xy plane for this cylinder and next we'll set the range of this cylinder to we'll change here to the alpha of 21 so here we'll set 21 divided by 2 and and here we'll change it of the cylinder to four millimeters okay and now just click ok and as you can see now we have the cylinder here okay and next here what we'll do is to create this angle here as you can see so the way to do that is to free select this face here and then go to the draft tool this icon here click in this icon 
okay and here what you'll do here will change this angle you will have 20 degrees so what you'll do here is to divide 20 by 2 and we'll get 10 degrees and now now here we'll set this reverse it so check this option and as you can see now we have this and click ok and next here what we'll do is to create a linear pattern of these parts in this direction so what we do we select this cylinder first and then this draft and go to the linear pattern tool okay and what you need to do here is to first change the duration to z axis okay and also we'll change the length here here we have 19 and 4 so what you'll do here you will set a length of 15 and we'll change the number of occurrence here to we'll set 4 okay and now just click ok and as you can see now we have these all parts here and next here what we'll do is to create this fillet operation in these cylinders with a range of 0 0.3 so what you do first here we can select this edge here and then go to the fillet tool and now change here the range to 0 0.3 and click on the select button and now select these all edges Okay, and now we have this so click OK and now we have these fillets here and the next step now is to create this hole this hole here so what we do rotate this model and select this face here and then click in this hole tool and here what you need to do is to change the diameter to 17 and we'll change the depth here to let's change to 50 okay and as you can see here we have this so click ok and next here what we'll do is to create this this hole here we have a diameter of 28 and 8 of 1 so what you do here select this circular edge and then click in this hole tool okay and first here we'll change the diameter to 28 and the depth here to 1 and now scroll down here and set flat okay and now click ok and next here we'll create this 3d hole with this reference here and this this height so what you do select this circular edge and select hole tool okay and here first we'll set a profile to this 3d hole so click here and select isometric regular profile set treated and model treat and now we'll change the size of this 3d hole to to this reference m 27 select M27 and now we'll change the depth of this 3D hole to 14 okay and now scroll down here and set flat the drill point type set flat and then click on this refresh icon okay and as you can see now we have this treated hole. We have these treats here. So next click OK. Okay, as you can see we finished the design of this model. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next video.